Gravy, gravy, gravy. So another smart hurdle last year. I mean, he was so impressive when he scored at, um, at Ascot, wasn't he? Um, disappointed a bit, ain't she, last backhand, but going to sort of draw yeah. lines right and go with fences this I time. I do, you have to. Yeah, he looked very good at Ascot. We got a bit late and we were going to go novice chasing this time last year and little niggles. To be fair, niggle that he, he got a, he got, um, got a horrible something. I, we never really discovered what it was. Uh, after he, When he won an air, and he was very good that day. Um, and he came back very lame. Um, in fact, it was very lame an hour after the race. So, um, we had to put Novice Chasing on hold because we got a bit late and decided to keep it for another year. Then he came out of Ascot. <laughs> and he was frighteningly impressive. And if I knew he was going to do that, I'd have probably kept him for the coral, so I must admit. Because he'd have won the coral the way he won the um, he won an Ascot that day. And then the handicapper killed him, not surprisingly, he was entitled to. Um, and we rather thought the Aintree three mile hurdle was a good idea, but that didn't work at all. I mean, it wasn't just this or crack, it was just the fact that it didn't turn up at all. Um, but last season we always knew was just a it was a marking time one before he goes over fences. He's ready to do that. He's uh, jumping's been excellent. His work, he's a, I mean, he's a good horse, but he's not a he's not a flashy horse at home. He is a staying chaser in the making. I think the one good thing about this year, we do have quite a lot of I hope smart novice chasers, and and yeah, sure he's going to hopefully going to be one of them.